Hello, so we're going to talk about the subclavian, axillary, and brachial arteries and the branches that come off of each one. So let's draw a generic uh, subclavian to brachial axillary schematic. So you have your subclavian that comes around and goes down your arm. This is anatomical position. So this is your subclavian. Subclavian goes until the uh, lateral border of your first rib, passing through your anterior and middle scaling muscles, which then it turns into the axillary artery. Axillary at the inferior margin of the teres major then becomes your brachial artery, which has two terminal branches, the ulna and the radial arteries. We'll talk about those later. So for your subclavian, what you have is you have five total branches that come off the subclavian. So if you're going to draw this bigger, what you have is you have three that come off prior to going through the scaling muscles, one that comes off in the scaling muscles, and one that comes off afterwards. So for your subclavian, the first branch that comes off are your vertebral arteries. Next, you have your internal thoracic that runs down the inside of your anterior chest wall behind your sternum. And you also have your thyroid cervical trunk. Now your thyroid cervical trunk has three branches that you should be aware of. And those three are your inferior thoracic, your superficial cervical, or otherwise known as your transverse cervical, and your suprascapular. Next, coming off between the scaling muscles, you have your costal cervical, which gives off two. You have your uh, deep cervical, and you also have your superior intercostal arteries. Lastly, you have your dorsal scapular. So there's a mnemonic that you can do for all these, and that's vital individuals, sip, strong, coffee, served, double, daily. And each of these letters that are underlined correspond with a branch or a sub-branch that comes on subclavian. Next, we're going to talk about our axillary. So the axillary runs between the first rib and your teres major. So continuing off the subclavian, you have your first rib, and you also have your teres major. Now the axillary is split up into three parts by your pect minor, which comes off your coracoid process. So if you're to visualize that the pect minor actually lies on top of the middle section of your axillary, what you have is that the axillary is broken into three parts, just like the subclavian. You have your first part, second part, and third parts. So off the first part, you have one artery, and that would be known as your supreme thoracic or your superior thoracic. There's a lot of uh, AKAs in anatomy. Coming off the second, what you have is you have two. You have your lateral thoracic, which feeds the same muscles to raise anterior as your long thoracic nerve. And you also have your thoracal acromial trunk. Off the thoracal acromial trunk, you get four branches. 
and these are your clavicular, your acromio, your deltoid, and your pectoral. Okay, off the third part, you get three. So one artery, two artery, three arteries. You have your subscapular artery, which gives off two branches, gives off the thoracal dorsal, and also gives off your scapular circumflex or your uh, cir circumflex scapular. Then you also have your anterior and posterior humeral circumflexes. So the mnemonic for this, there's a lot of different ones. The one I use would be screw the lawyers, save a patient. For these branches here, a lot of people like to use the mnemonic of cadavers are dead people. And you can think of subscapular as having STDs or being so tough. Either way, there's two branches that come off that. Lastly, let's talk about your brachial artery. Now, brachial artery in many respects is a lot simpler than the other two. So, what you have is you have your brachial artery that comes down. And it splits off into two branches. Which is your ulna artery and your radial artery. The radial artery is most superficial, and you can remember this because it's the pulse that you take. The ulna also gives off a branch called the common enterosis, which then splits off into your posterior and your anterior enterosis arteries. So that's all for brachial. And then moving on to the arm, into the hand, you have your ulna and your radio, which then join up into your arches. But that's for a different video.